Good morning, my beautiful brothers and sisters. It is 5.23 a.m. in the morning, and I'm heading to work. It's a happy Friday. I had a little trouble getting out of bed today. I decided to lay down for uh, about 30 more minutes, and I'm glad I did. I just uh, laid in prayer, and uh, I just, I needed it. I don't know if I'm trying to catch a virus or if it's in me, but I keep rebuking it, and... Uh, Feeling, I'm feeling all right now. Um, let's start with prayer today. Let's let's start it. Father God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for your grace and your mercy and your love and thank you for providing for us and giving us hope and comfort and given us a uh, free will to choose you with our whole hearts and to serve you Lord and Lord I ask you to just touch everyone with your mighty hand and peace and uh, just hold whoever needs held today and heal whoever needs healed and may they them and us everyone me praise you always in any situation you know no matter if it's uh rough or going good we are to praise you and it is a process you have to learn to be content paul even said that and lord we just thank you for your teachings and your patience and your do-overs and uh, jesus mighty mighty name amen well the other day God had me in uh, First Chronicles, I think it was. I hope one second. Anyway, it was talking about how uh, an evil spirit came into David, King David, and uh, it's like, hey, I'm I'm gonna go do a census on the people. I'm gonna count the people in my land. I want to know how many people I have in my uh, that I'm ruling over. And uh, God didn't like it. He was warned by the seer. And he still did it. He said, go do it. And, uh, and there was consequences. Uh, uh, God uh, sent David Seer to him and gave him three choices. And, uh, you know, he said, I choose uh, God's hands have mercy. He, you know, he let God choose. And uh... well, anyway, people died. A lot of people died. Innocent people died because of David's choice and foolishness. And then he put me back today in 2 Samuel chapter 24 with the same story. And I'm like, okay, God, you do this to me quite a bit. So what, what are you trying to tell me here? Because first, evil enters you. You make wrong choices, then a lot of times innocent people suffer because of your choice. And uh, what's so great is God, he waits for your repentance and he's ready. But then he, you know, he instructs David, you go make an altar. You know, and you, uh, you do your trespass offering to me and you know in repentance and you know in Old Testament you had to take your sacrifice to a priest and he had to do it for you and the law changed with uh, Jesus dying on the cross for us we can go straight to the Father through Jesus Christ with our our uh, repentance for our sins and our trespasses and uh, whatever there will be consequences and sometimes your consequence is <laughs> on the behalf of innocent people and we as children of God we have to be cautious and that's why we go back to Ephesians 6 where it talks about putting on the armor of God you know a lot of people take for granted that they're saved by grace and 
in Matthew, Jesus says that uh, there's an expiration date. And we must not live like there's an expiration date. We must live every day protected by the Lord. And that's being in his presence, drawing him and us, we and him, the personal relationships, walking in repentance, walking in the spirit. And uh, if we're not doing this, if we're not in the word, if we're not in prayer, if we're not walking in repentance, if we're not asking for guidance and using all the weapons, he gives us everything we need. To fight off the evil. When you're depressed, you are to pray. When you are grieving, you are to pray. You are to seek. You are to serve. You are to give to others. If you are a minister, you are to be serving others, not yourself. And if you're serving yourself, shame on you. Because someday, judgment day will come. And they're going to... All the people are going to see this. And Jesus is going to say, I can't go to the Father for you. I want to. But you're full of iniquity. You mocked me. I died for you. I shed my blood. I covered you. But once you get up here, I can't cover you. I have to. Everything's there in the book right there in black and white there's no gray area and Jesus prays for us every day every moment he prays to the father for us and he he wants us to live with him forever and with God so if you're selfish today and you're making choices because you think you're high and mighty King Ruler David's heart you might want to think about repentance and falling on your face David fell on his face a lot of people had to die first how many people are you willing to sacrifice for yourself because when you go to that altar and God wants you at that altar You ask for forgiveness with the pure contrite heart and he every time forgives you and blots it away but he wants you to walk away from that we are to serve he will tell you how to serve but you just can't get up there and think people should listen to you and show no service you can't just think my words are a service. No, you have to have action. Action. Love is an action, not words. Words just fly out. Just, blah. they can be meaningless. Actions. Actions are what prove it. And people know if you're in the light or not. So, God bless you. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. May he keep you, may he shine his face upon you, and may he show you favor and rejoice in your salvation and uh, put on those weapons and research what the fruit of the Spirit is. And uh, I love you. Have a great day.